The Assembly Committee for Culture, Arts and Leisure has just launched its report into gaps in child protection and safeguarding across the culture, arts and leisure remit. The committee agreed to conduct an investigation following a briefing from Sport NI's Child Protection and Sport Unit, an organisation that has spearheaded policy to make participation in sports safer for young people. We spoke to committee chairperson Michelle McElveen MLA to find out more. The committee specifically wanted to identify areas where there are gaps in child protection and safeguarding across the culture, arts and leisure remit. The committee report therefore recommends ways in which these gaps can be closed. Members are also concerned about the challenges presented to vulnerable groups, parents and teachers by the internet and social media. The committee believes that there is a need for a charter mark standard that could become the recognised brand for best practice in organisations working with vulnerable groups. A pilot within the CAL remit could also allow such a standard to be extended to other sectors, including local government and the community and voluntary sectors. During its investigation, the committee also looked at the internet and social media and the additional threats these can pose to young people. At a special event at Grosvenor Grammar School, Belfast, the committee met with young people, their parents and teachers, to discuss the importance of staying safe online. The event was hosted by Wayne Denner, a youth speaker and leading expert on digital media. We spoke to him to find out why the committee's work on child protection is so important. I was given evidence recently um, in relation to uh, the, the report that which is due out and I was talking about some of the strategies and some of the things that we can think about as politicians and the frameworks and the legislation that we can maybe try and push through in relation to how we keep young people and how we safeguard against you know issues in which may arise around the use of social media and also I suppose around the use of technology, mobile phones and smartphones and internet within the cultural arts and leisure sector. The committee has determined that young people should be provided with the opportunity to make a direct contribution towards shaping and informing child protection policy. One of the recommendations coming from the investigation is the establishment of a young person reference group which would give young people an opportunity to give their views on these issues and suggestions for improving protection and safeguarding policies and procedures. Young people are also much more involved and up to date regarding the internet and social media and are often best placed to assess the threats posed and how best to mitigate these threats. The debate in the Assembly Chamber is really the beginning of ensuring that we have the best protection and safeguarding in place for vulnerable groups that we can possibly achieve. If you would like more information on the committee's findings and recommendations, you can read the full report on the Northern Ireland Assembly website.